Congressman. Uh, Judge Garland, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the law enforcement challenges at the border, which I know a number of other members have brought up with you. Just a, a fundamental question. Do you believe that illegal entry at America's border should remain a crime? Well, I haven't thought about uh, that question. Uh, uh, I just haven't thought about that question. I, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the president has... Uh, made clear that we are a country of, uh, with the borders and with a concern about national security. Um, I don't know of a proposal to uh, decriminalize but still make it uh, unlawful to enter. I just don't know the answer to that question. I haven't thought about it. Um, it will you continue to prosecute un unlawful border crossings? Well, uh, this is again a, a question of allocation of resources. Um, um, we will, uh, uh, the department uh, will uh, uh, prevent unlawful um, uh, crossing. Um, I don't know, I, you know, I, I have to admit, I just don't understand, know exactly what the conditions are and how this is uh, uh, done. I think if, um, um, I don't know what the current program even is with respect uh, to this, um, if there, um, so, uh, I, I assume that the answer would be yes, but I don't, I don't know what the uh, uh, issues around, surrounding it are. Now, let me ask you about uh, the guidelines on asylum eligibility, the issued as part of the Executive Office of Immigration Review. Uh, the, your, your predecessors have, have issued quite a number of guidelines about asylum eligibility. Several senators, Senator Hirono, I think Senator Cornyn, talked about the very significant backlog that we have currently uh, in asylum cases. Will you continue to use, uh, keep in force, the current guidelines on asylum eligibility, or do you anticipate changing them? Uh, again, um, given my uh, uh, current professional uh, occupation, I, I've had no experience whatsoever with the guidelines, so I can't give you a direct answer to that question. Uh, asylum is part of American law, and uh, the, uh, the Justice Department and the State Department have an obligation uh, uh, to, uh, to apply that law. I don't know what the guidelines are uh, that you're talking about, and I don't know even about the rescissions of guidelines that you're talking about. Um, will you, uh, if confirmed, I'm, I'm sure that you'll be reviewing this and considering these questions, will you uh, pledge to keep us fully posted as you do so? Yeah, if there's a change in the government policy, if I'm confirmed, of, of course, uh, there will be a public change because you can't apply those kind of guidelines without making them public.